I'm Philosophical. This is my channel. We're not going nowhere. We're absolutely not going anywhere. Okay. This is an arrangement from Rose Forever. They're beautiful. I put the link in my description box and in my comment section with the code Philosophical25 to get 25 bucks off of an order. So they're amazing. They're beautiful. There's all different types of varieties. They last a long time. Uh, it's very modern and beautiful. So thank you again to Rose Forever for giving me this. I, I really appreciate it. Let's see what the, they want to talk about. These are, oh. Now the only one that was upside down was this Toxic Masculine card. So I'm going to put it back, but that may have something to do um, with something that we're about to talk about. Father, I just saw family. This could be a father figure of yours, that's something. Or a father of your children is an addict. Father, again. I feel like you're, you're, you're a... Uh, you're really connecting with the spirit realm and it's kind of freaking people out. I also feel like you're what you're exposing and your your gifts that keep getting stronger and stronger. This is my hitman card and low vibration and high vibration. That is also my supernatural strength that people cannot stand. Look, the child and nature card was upside down too. So that's also somebody who's abusive. This is someone who's entitled and abusive. Okay. I see what this is here already. I can already tell with the toxic masculine card, the child nature in the, in the um, upside down, which is abusive to animals and people and the entitled card. I feel like this is an entitled masculine energy. We pick up on this way too much. I think it's because it's what's around. It's what's in my energy. And this is like the energy of the collective, especially for divine feminines who ain't we're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. <laughs> yes. Can you clear that, please? Turning up the heat. Yeah, your ancestors are turning up the heat or you're turning up the heat on something. Can you show me yes, please? Thank you. Can you show me no? Thank you. Oh. Is today July 18th, 2022. Happy birthday, Cancer. The Cancer. Okay. Is this uh, athlete card in the up right here? No. It's time to shift our attention, whatever that means for you. Is this the Hitman card? Is this a Hitman here? Are we still talking about this? They still think they're going to do this? All right, let's see what's up with your toxic masculine hitmans, okay? the one, All those of us who were lucky enough to have them personally assigned to us, and we've destroyed most of them. Some of them have given up. Others uh, fell in love with divine feminines uh, and just couldn't do it. And and others of them, um, they just realized they're never going to, it's never going to happen because you're chosen, so. Indeed. Hire great people fast. So somebody could have hired another one. Aquarius, I just saw the star card. Yeah, somebody's disappointed. I feel like somebody's disappointed in an Aquarius, or an Aquarius could be disappointed in some shit. Damn, I mean these these aren't these aren't mixing well. We'll do it like this. I don't care. This is what somebody does for work. I feel like this is just an assassin. They they could have possibly um hold on. They could work for the government. Somebody here could work for the government. Tell me about this um, hitman here. What, what, tell me about this one. <laughs> this is the only air time you guys get is when I'm exposing you idiots. Tell me about this one. I think this is you. You're never going to have to deal with somebody doing this again. You have stability from here on out. Nobody. You closed out cycles with anybody that could even affect your stability, your mental stability, your financial stability, your home stability, your spiritual stability, your relationships. This could be a spiritual hitman. Tell me, speak Spanish. So somebody could have, could be Latino. Somebody. You want to get conversational in another language. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who spoke another language for somebody here. This could be a new one. Look at this. Somebody's very, very vengeful, very jealous of the fact that you have stability or that of you have a healthy relationship here. I also, this is also my video camera lens too, that being watched. This is like my being watched by the feds. 
This is somebody possibly around your home here. It could be an Aquarius receiving karma for getting involved in this shit. My phone just lit up. It's 10 o'clock exactly. For somebody here, your hitman was an Aquarius. They're having a problem with their own stability because they came for you. Tell me more. Yeah, look at it. It's a struggle. They want to get this revenge. I don't know if there was a time. For a lot of your hitman men, it's like they can't get paid or they don't. There's Aquarius again. For, uh, for somebody here, you, you have an Aquarius hitman, period. I thought learning a language would be too much work. Look, it's a struggle because I know, one, you're an introvert. One, you're an introvert. <laughs> Two, they're being watched as well with the world card and the hermit card. Somebody's definitely being watched by undercover. And I think they know it. And that's why it's a problem. It's a burden for this person to do what they came here to do because they're being watched. They can't do shit to your car anymore. They know that there's cameras and there's cameras on them. Those cameras aren't just on you. Okay. If you live in an, you hear that beep? If you live in an area where there's cameras and stuff, these cameras are not just on you. These cameras are fed into other shit too. These people don't even realize this, or maybe they do. Tell me about the hermit. Virgo energy. Why? Tell me about this Virgo or this hermit. So it could be, be a Virgo. I think somebody's struggling too because they could have already they could have already been paid some money. Yeah. I've been through a lot, but I'm still flurry. Yes, and you've been through a lot. It's almost like There's a psych, there's something, or, oh, this is also what comes around, what goes around, comes around, right? I'm way too fine to be distressed, yeah. Yeah, you're too good looking, you're too fine, damn it. Something going around, oh, they could have somebody coming after them. They could be hiding because they have somebody looking for them for some kind of money. There's a situation with somebody, this isn't going to be for everybody, where they could have actually took the money already and they can't do what they were supposed to do and they could have spent this money. I think that somebody else is looking for this person. I'm going to be okay. Yeah, you know you're going to be okay. But whoever this person is that was supposed to come here and hurt you, they're not going, they're not okay. This person is struggling by themselves as well. I'm on now that light to shine. There's something, there's some light being shined on the situation here. Tell me more. Tell me more, please. Toxic love for money. They could have thought that you were a prostitute and that you gave toxic love for money. Look, Aquarius, man, I'm telling you what's going on here with this Aquarius. Some of your family's waking up. So some of your family may be realizing that somebody was sent to take you out. <laughs> toxic love for money. Somebody had such a love for money that, wow, is going bald from spell work. So this could be a spiritual hitman that was supposed to take you out with spell work. And now something's coming full circle here. And now I'm telling you, I feel like they got somebody that wants revenge on them. If they, if, so that's what happens. Like what goes around comes around. This is cause and effect, cause and effect. Something came back to somebody where it's like you wanted to try and sabotage somebody else's stability, their home life, their relationship, whatever this was. You wanted somebody to be by themselves so that what you could do something to them. Somebody else is experiencing this. I think that your hitman has somebody looking for them. That would be cause and effect and karma. Because normally they would get away with this shit. So they wouldn't have this coming back to them, right? It's just like, you know, but they did this to somebody who the universe sees as, um, you're very gifted too. This is also spiritual gifts. To me gifted gifted from the universe but what kind of gifts gifts where you can sit to yourself you have the gift of being an introvert <laughs> that's a gift as far as i'm concerned me being an introvert has literally saved my life you know my channel saved my life my spiritual gifts but the gift of me being able to sit in and and work on my gifts 
work on my gifts that the universe gave me and not do dirty shit and just wither away, but keep my mind right, keep my mind straight. I saw get rest twice. So some of you may need to get more rest. Healing your womb. Yeah. So some of you are like not sleeping with anybody. You're healing your womb. You realize that that's where you manifest from. Your womb and your digestive system. Somebody drunk in the bed. Yeah, somebody's just getting drunk. Something could have happened in October here. Let me let me put this. But I'm wasting my breath. Somebody feels like they're just wasting their time. Like I'm just wasting away. What am I going to get out of this? I I do think somebody could have actually spent the money that they were they took. I think they took the money already. Go on, take the money and run. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can I get another one, please? This person could have been born in October. Though I have Aquarius here, though. Ringleader watches you, knows they can't take you out. That's got to be something, huh? Whoever this ringleader is, I'm going to pull tarot on it. It could be the Aquarius, but let's just see. There's a ringleader that's watching you in your in your neighborhood, and they know they know something's coming for this shit. They know either somebody is coming. I feel like it's somebody coming to tell you the truth. Whether it's the feds, a raid, uh, somebody. Yeah, look, the justice system. <laughs> tell me more, please. What's this ringleader? A cancer? There could be a cancer. That's the ringleader, or it's a police officer. This could be a fucking cop. Leo, Cancer. This is a cop with the, with the uh, strength card, with the chariot. This is a police officer. This is, yeah, somebody that was supposed to do right with the authority. Tell me about this chariot, man. Yeah, a greedy cop. A shady cop. That's what this is. Greedy motherfuckers. Cancer energy, though. Yeah, they're getting karma for this. Greedy. This is somebody that was paying people to do this to you. Anything to slow you down. Anything to keep you from trying, from going to where you're going. Whoever this dingbat is, they're losing their hair from spell work. So I don't know if you see somebody in your community that seems like their hair is falling out. It could be a female. This could be a female cancer. This could be the ringleader somehow. Let me find out if this ringleader is a woman or a man. Hold on. I guess it's going to be different for all of you. You know, it's not the same as it was. Yeah, I guess your hair is not the same as it was, doll. Is this is this a cancer who, who, for somebody that was the ringleader to this? Can you clear that, please? Is this cancer the one that's uh, going bald from spell work? So there's a cancer female for somebody who's losing all of their hair from doing some spell work on somebody that... Sorry. Somebody's jealous that you have somebody that's very loyal to you as well, or that people see you as loyal. Like they don't have anything bad to say about you. Somebody was, was they're the kind of person that gets off on people that say bad things about people. Tell me about this, please. What letters can you give me for this? Z. Z. What's that? Z. Z. A. Arizona. Somebody could be in Arizona or be from Arizona. They could have Arizona plates. What kind of pills are you on? This person's on pills. I guess they're a pill popper. Tell me more, please. Daz days. Daz days. Hold on. Somebody could be in a daze. They really could, man. For if this spell work is going back and they're losing their hair, what is this? A daze? Maybe it's Daz. Hold on a second. Let's see. Sorry. I 
I don't know. I never put my hot spot on. I forgot. Daz. We'll look it up because I feel like that's what this is. Daz or they are in a daze. Maybe it's probably hitting their mental. If it's hitting their mental, then that's their dome piece. That would make sense that their hair is falling out. There's nothing going on up there. <laughs> so just think about that like metaphorically. When you're in a daze, there's no thoughts. You're just kind of like there, right? So there's no blood circulation in your dome piece, which to me would make your hair fall out because that's why a lot of people's hair fall out. We're always standing up. We're not upside down. So we don't get a lot of blood rush to our head. You know what I'm saying? It's like I think if most of us, if we spent time on like an inversion table, um, like I know they're for stretching your back, but I'm sure it's probably good for blood flow as well. And that's probably why it helps your back. It helps the flow of blood, but it's probably good for your heart and it's good for your hair. A lot of us have our hair falling out. It has nothing to do with spell work. It has to do with the fucking 5G and the radiation. You know, some people, they, they think that you're doing spell work. There's people who think because their hair is falling out that you're doing spell work. All of us are being hit with this shit, you know, wake up. All right, let's find out some more about this. This is like interesting. What's that? Your cousin was involved. I flipped that over though. I don't like this. I don't like this channel. I can't get any like, I can't get a lot of messages from these new songs, man. Because all they talk about is money and bitches and hoes. And what the hell am I going to get from that? Please. I just saw cult. Tell me more. Tell me more, please. I'm a bad motherfucker and completely unstoppable. Did you tell somebody this? Somebody else thought, and you said, look, nope. Huh? Nope. Somebody else thought that they were a bad motherfucker. And I feel like that's your guides going, nope, this one is. Somebody thought they were bad because they were in a cult or they did spell work and then they've been successful at doing this and, and taking care of people or taking them out or, or getting life insurance policies and they can't do it to you. You're unstoppable. This ringleader knows this. They know it. This ringleader could be a police officer. Tell me more. Lied and said that you gave them an STD, dangerous vengeance. Some, I'm telling you. When, yo, that's an energy. Lies and slander is an energy. So be careful. I just saw a chosen one. They did this shit to a chosen one. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Stuck, can't run, can't hide, can't flee. Should have left you alone. Ah. Can't leave you alone. You gonna now? Somebody's got to. They have no choice but to leave you alone. They're losing their mind. They're losing their hair. They're losing their money. They're losing their health. I mean, what? How much more energy are you gonna give to us? Come on, really. Let, let's let's just talk about that. How much of your energy and your life are you going to just hand over to us? Isn't that the crazy way that this works? Because they were supposed to take yours, and they wind up openly giving you theirs. If you think about that Power confirmation, because what they do is they, they literally hand you all the energy that you need to transmute. The more they try to destroy you, the more that makes you keep want to go because you're a master alchemist and you're unstoppable. You're an unstoppable force. You are super fucking natural in this bitch. They don't know what this is about. So the more that they throw negative energy at you, it's like the bigger of a friggin' ball of energy. Now you have to transmute. Now you throw that back into the universe and that will manifest for you into something great. This is just the way that this shit goes. This is why we don't get mad. Like, man, mad at just, you're actually helping us grow. If it wasn't for your ops doing this to you, they would have never challenged you to the point to get where you're at now. They, they thrusted you into your healing and your dark night of the soul. Thank these people. I always say that. Thank you. I mean, I can't thank you enough. You showed me how strong I am. Every time you guys try to throw some more flies in my ointment, man. You know what I mean? Those flies belong with you guys. And, and for, for flies that came back here in this lifetime, I am convinced that flies and roaches and shit like that, that is just bad karma. That is just bad karma. Anything that wants to sit on shit and lick it, um, and that's what you like, you, you've accumulated some bad karma, my dear. But yeah, it's like they throw all these like these obstacles in your way and all it does is like remind you of how strong that you are. Just imagine what this does to people because they did this to so many other people, but they weren't strong like you. So they thought they were doing something. It's like I said in my last video, you were coming against people who were weak. So it made you look strong, but they come against somebody who's strong and now they're shown just how weak they are. This is just how it goes. 
Be kind hearted and, and as fucking full of love, but maintain boundaries like a motherfucker. That's what you're doing. Introverts have boundaries. That means you can't come in. You cannot come in the castle. You cannot cross the moat. <laughs> you have to call and make an appointment. And if we say no, it's just no. And if you try to force yourselves into our energy, then you will be forced and thrusted out by another force that is not even up to us. It's not even up to us. So it's like enter at your own risk. You want to try and break into the castle, you enter at your own risk, but it will be at your own risk and it will be risky, period. Let's see. Tell me about this stuck. Lied and they're stuck. Gave him an STD. This could be two different people. Look, they're getting karma though. The karma is they're stuck. A lot of these people are on the run or they're getting exposed and they can't leave now. And they know that the cops in your area, investigators and, and the undercovers that are around, look, 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 they know they're worried. They're paranoid. They know that they're getting karma. Listen, just then there's another scenario. You got people around you who were coming for you. They had no idea that you did what you did or you were a uh, psychic or you were in that high priestess energy and that you were going to expose other shit that they thought was long gone from their past. Now they're surrounded by undercover cops, detectives, the eyes are on them when it was supposed to be on you. And now they spent all their fucking money trying to destroy you and pay for spell work and shit. And now they're stuck and they can't go anywhere. This is karma. 21 all. You get that? Tell me more. Look it. She is struggling. She just said struggling. There's a female that's struggling. Capricorn energy. This, these people, though, I'm, they're, they're getting karma for being in this energy and not knowing when to get out of it. Anybody who's in this energy of wanting to uh, be a negative influence on this world, period, we'll just say, okay, is receiving karma, period. Loading up a nail gun. Somebody could use a nail gun for something. <laughs> they could be using that as a weapon, a nail gun. Look, karmic masculine. Look at this. Any dudes that are in this energy. I feel like some, there's a female surrounded by these. You're surrounded by this. All karmics. You're walking away from all of this. They have no choice but to walk away from you. The karma's getting so bad. It's getting so bad. For some of you, this is somebody in the justice system. But for most of us, this is just justice. You are, you are um, receiving justice. on Good on your end. Bad on theirs. What side of this wheel are you on, huh? Walking away. Look, they're going to have to walk away. They can't even do this anymore. This is dark magic with the magician and the devil. Straight up, any way you want to look at it. It's going back. Granger, delusions of Granger. This is just delusions. These people thought they were above you. These people thought they couldn't be touched. No, you can't be touched. Flip that. We can't be touched. There's no point in tightening your belt. Yeah, somebody was tightening their belt and I'll show you. Bitch, you're going to whip yourself with your own belt. There's just some people that you don't come for and we represent that. Somebody had to put a stop to this shit in this world because it's getting absolutely out of control. Um, so, so how do you feel when this shit comes back and you guys have daughters and sons and now your daughter winds up getting gang raped, okay? Or your daughter winds up getting trafficked and kidnapped. How do you feel then? Hmm? Or your daughter now is forced to prostitute and now she got dudes running all in her choo-choo. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Anubis. Uh-oh. <laughs> now this is where it gets tricky. This is what they didn't know. They didn't know enough about this magic shit to know about what happens after you pass that you have to go through Anubis and have your heart weighed. Do you know about this, you guys? Maybe you ought to look into it. Stuck. They think you're stuck up because you don't hang out with them anymore. And, well, I'm sorry, but when you're in this energy here, <laughs> when you're, in, when you are like this, when you are toxic karmic masculines in this energy, the fuck right I'm not going to hang out with you anymore. I don't give a shit if you're my son, my uncle, uh, my father, a friend, exes, people in the community. We don't want to hang out with anybody who's receiving karma. You know why? Because we're tired of taking on your karma. We're tired of protecting you guys with this freaking uh, Ace of Pentacles type energy of blessings that we bring. And then you guys wanting to tell act, act like we're codependent when we're really the reason that you guys are having anything in your life. The reason you have anything in your life 
You want to hang out with us anymore? Nope. <laughs> you want to hang out? No, you want to you want to go do this so I can set you up and, and, and feed you something which but which shouldn't? Nope. Some of these people actually have fed people and some of you dog shit in food that they gave you. Okay? I've experienced that too. I remember tasting something they gave me. I'm like, this motherfucking shit tastes like dog shit afterward. And then I found out through videos that these fucking sociopaths do that too. They will try to make you sick in any way possible. And they don't really, they know that some poison and shit will show up. So they do it in other ways. They'll put piss and dog shit. Some of them put, um, they try to uh, give you E. coli on purpose. They'll put like raw chicken juice in your food. It's really sick. They're fucking sick, 25-25, and you guys are all going to prison or the ground. Or like I said, you're going to be in a straitjacket watching us thrive on TV with, with uh, drool hanging out the side of your mouth with them asking if you're ready to take your meds. In the police car. Yeah, for some of you, this is a fucking dirty ass cop. Now, someone said, someone took something too far. Your daddy said, I took it just a little too far. So, yeah, somebody, somebody lied. Something got taken too far. It is a police officer or an ex-police officer who thinks they can still do some shit here. You're not crazy. I'm telling you, you guys must be asking yourself this. So you, or you, you may have people around you that are making you feel like whatever you said that you went through, you're crazy. You're not crazy. Your intuition is not going to steer you wrong. Tell me more. Drinking my glass. Somebody drank something. Somebody drank something and had something in it. Somebody took something too far when it came to putting something in somebody's food or drink. That, that's, that's bending someone's will, asshole. The law is watching and protecting you. Thank you for those of you who are, because I know you watch my channel and you're amazing. I saw such a handsome cop the other day. <laughs> oh my gosh, he was so good looking. And I told him, because I'm just open like that. You know, he was like super tall, but like black hair. And like I saw him outside. And unfortunately, the dude upstairs was passed away from an overdose. And I just, you know, I'm very open like that. I'm just very sociable. But people take this as weak. And you guys fucking really misunderstood my ass, okay? But um, I just, I go, wow, you're handsome. And he just said, thank you. I said, you know, got to give credit where it's due. It's like most people don't know how to give compliments and actually mean it anymore. But I just want to say for the law who are watching me around here in particular, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, and when I'm, when I'm on that shit, like on that wealth shit, I'm going to break every fucking of money is off. Okay. Cause I'm sure there's going to be some kind of meeting of some sort. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, this thing bet steals from their mother's purse, okay? A Taurus could steal from their mother's purse. There could be a Taurus that's a dingbat, or you're the Taurus that's not crazy. Let's find out. I know that you know that I know that you know, he just said. So there, everybody knows what's going on here in your community. I feel like the you know how gossip gets around... It's not just, um, Stacy's mom has got it going on. Are you a MILF divine feminine? Cause I feel like he's are. you're, you could be Stacy, uh, or your mom, you could be a Stacy, but I feel like this is just playing because this is uh, the universe saying like, there's a lot of divine feminines who are straight fucking MILF. Some of you are gilfs and your grandmothers and you look, you look younger and better than these young bitches who are doing this spell work and, and jealous and coming after you. Okay. Uh, higher vibrational beings only only straight answers please is this Taurus the one that steals from their mother's purse okay can you clear that is this Taurus the one that's not crazy and the law is watching and protecting them that's why I said because I'm a Taurus thank you so much to all the police officers and the detectives and the investigators I don't know what I would do without you guys so um many thanks <laughs> So you're not crazy, Taurus. Let's find out who the dingbat is that steals from their mommy's purse. Who steals from... Tell me about this steals from their mother's purse, please. Tell me about um, this steals from their mother's purse. Thank you. Uh, well, I say yes. Could be a fire sign, but yes, they're a thief. Tell me more about this, please. Thank you. Light of Wands, definitely a fire sign, an immature fire sign here that steals from their mother's purse. The mom came out with just a towel on, 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 on. Their mother could have been like walking around them as a child in like underwear and shit. Somebody's got a very unhealthy Scorpio, possibly. Somebody's got an unhealthy um, 
um, uh, a relationship with their mommy, Leo. There's a Leo, very immature Leo that steals from their mother's purse. But since your dad walked out, this person didn't have any male guidance. It's either a Scorpio or a Leo or both. The mom could be a Leo. This mom could be in jail. This could be a Leo mother that's actually in jail. Somebody is struggling. Oh, so if this is the kind of person that steals from their mother's purse, I feel like the mom is locked up. And now this person's struggling because there's nobody around them they can steal from. This person could have been forced to go back and live with their mommy. And now their mommy's in jail or they're, they're not there or something happened or they're on the run or something like that. And I think that they don't have that mother's purse there anymore. So it's like, okay. Oh, my guides are funny. What else can you tell me? Please. Thank you. Did, didn't we tell you that there's no loyalty amongst criminals? So I think this group of people are realizing like, what was I thinking to think that like these people were going to keep their mouths shut? Some of these people are locked up and the ones who were out are really nervous that these people are going to talk to get a lighter sentence. This is what always happens. Isn't this what always happens? How come you guys don't learn? Nobody is going to take a life sentence for you. I can promise you that. I don't care if it's fucking family. A mystery. Everyone must stand alone. You stand alone. I stand alone. You stand alone and fight. These people need all of their minions and flying monkeys. They need their curious Georges to come and see what you're up to. Somebody can't steal from their mommy's purse anymore. Mommy's locked up. <laughs> they won't let her out. Let's get some letters. <laughs> oh, shit. Say someone's on their knees. Someone's on their knees. They have nothing. They're struggling. They're on the run. They're constantly in struggle. Knight of Wands. They're in and out. They can't commit. They, they're always hopping from home to home, possibly from city to city. Like they're running here. They're running there. They're running, running everywhere. It's like the sky is falling. L. Have no choice. I hear your voice. Somebody has no choice but to hear your voice. Oh, they have no choice but to hear you expose your story and talk about it now. Okay, that's what that means. God, I think I'm falling. L-A, let. Loathe, L-A-O-T. Loat. Alto. Plate. Opal. There could be something about something opal. That's funny because my grandmother actual, her birthstone is opal. Yeah. You're in control. So just know that you're in control. Met. Met opal. Whatever that is. Met opal. This is also team, T-E-A-M, lop, team lop. I wish I had my other thing on. I'm going to write this down. Hold on. Because I want to look these up afterward. And see what another meaning for opal is, possibly. Meat, M-E-A-T. Maybe there's another letter. Palette. Pale. Somebody could be looking very pale. It could be multiple things. This criminal thing. This criminal thing. Ooh, criminal. Team. Lop. That's probably the one. So I'm going to look up what team and lop would be because they teamed up together and I feel like they're, they're just falling. 
Like there's nobody holding this all together. It's like people are like nervous, like, well, should I speak now? Because am I going to be the only one? Oh, I 3434 stand alone. There's going to be one person taking the fall for all this shit. And what's going to happen is people are going to be now wanting to talk to the police <laughs> because they're not going to want to be the last man standing in this sense. There's somebody that's going to wind up this King of Pentacles, possibly an earth sign. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but there's going to be somebody who's going to be taking all of this fall because everybody's starting to talk about this situation. What was that that flipped over? Didn't something flip over? Oh, uh, yeah. Messages. Look, communicator, didn't I tell you? Oh, somebody, the people are talking. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you want to save your ass? There's no honor amongst thieves and criminals. What are you talking about? Hello? When has there ever been honor amongst criminals? I mean, shit, even in Goodfellas, that was back in the day when they actually were tight and shit. And Henry, Henry, still, he still did it to save himself and his family. I think it was more for himself, but whatever. Tell me more. I, I did not come this far to be pushed back. That's you guys. I did not go through all of this shit. Bitch, if it's the last thing I do... I'm going to go where the fuck I came here to go, period. There is no other option. If I got to take down a whole crew, says you, in order to keep myself safe, somebody's tracking your car, it don't matter. You're still not going to stop us from going anywhere. Now you just know where we are, but you're not stopping it. So <laughs> that don't really mean anything. Now you know that we get out, we go around, we're not fucking in lockdown. You really need my attention this bad? You guys really, really need our attention like this? I mean, you really can't survive? But, you know, let me tell you something. When I told you guys narcissistic supply is like, you're like the first shot of heroin empath. Ooh, they never get the same. So you're the dragon. You're the dragon. Ooh, boy. Has a cell jammer, knows that it's illegal, caught. So, yeah, everything that somebody did, should I stay or should I go? Bitches, you need to fucking go, punks. I feel like these people are wondering if they should leave, if they should go on the run, how much the cops know. Is there really undercover around here? Do they really know this much? Your uncle was involved. We know that punk. Your uncle was involved for so many. I'm going to connect it to World Bloodline. This is why you can't be touched. I think even the police and stuff are learning about this. There may be some investigators and police were finding out that they're in fact chosen or that they're empaths. Uh, and that they're connected to royal bloodlines. Let's find out what your uncle, which uncle this is. Uh, tell me about your uncle. Your uncle was involved. What can you tell me about this? Tease. It's a struggle for this bitch, though. Somebody's struggling. Pisces. Somebody's stuck. They're just stuck in constant struggle. Stuck. Can't run, can't hide, right? Nope. Ain't not happening, cuz... Tell me more about this hangman. I got Pisces here. Yeah, look, they can't run. They're stuck. Look, stuck. Eight of Wands. They can't go nowhere. I don't have the money to run. I don't even know if I have enough gas to get to another state. <laughs> Stupid that shape. Wait, let you hop on the bus, Gus. Get a new plan, Stan. Right? Don't need to discuss my... Right? Just hop on the bus. Get a new plan, bitch. Because this one is definitely not working. You got people literally stuck like they are in quicksand, divine feminine, divine masculine. These people can't, they have nowhere to go. They have nowhere to help them. These pe people are looking at them like they're sideways. Like every time we come around you, we lose. We're tired of losing because of you. We want to win for once. Look it. That's because they came for the hunter and thought that you were going to be the hunted. Hmm. What's this? What's that now? I got the moon in reverse. Here, all these secrets are coming out. All this moon did was expose more shit. Look, the mother's upside down. Some of you had a mother that couldn't mother. She was more of a smother or you had the opposite. She didn't show you enough love. You know, there's like no happy medium with the mom shit. It seems like we either had moms that didn't love us at all or moms that loved us so much that they didn't want us to leave the house. You know, look, communicator again. You may be this communicator or you may get some kind. Look, grandfather at the bottom. You may be getting some kind of uh, spirit messages from a grandfather. I want to find out about this communicator and then I'm going to uh, cut it off. If I stay, if I go, there will be trouble. If I stay, it will be doubled. This is the people around you, I feel like, in your community. Communicator. This just lit up again. People in your community that know that the, the heat is on. The heat is on. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
Uh, I feel like somebody like knows, should I stay? Should I go? Do they know that I'm living here? Do they know that I moved here? Are they watching my phone? Are they going, are, are, are they tracking my history? Are they hearing everything I'm saying? Somebody's going delusional over this. Look. You might get some kind of communication from some of your family members. Or they got some kind of communication about some money. Somebody's going to get somebody uh, some communication from their family about some money left by a grandmother. Oh. Tell me more. Shoot for the stars. Yeah, you shoot for the stars. We don't give up. Look. Hmm? About some kind of a big amount of money. <laughs> Possibly from a grandfather and a grandmother. Something, yeah, because you're struggling. I feel like you shouldn't be struggling right now. It's going to help you during the struggle. Somebody from your, something from your past. Somebody from your past wanted you to struggle here. You're going to get some kind of message though. Yeah. Somebody wants to invest in you, but I feel like this is just some money that belonged to you anyway for somebody here. Take me by the tongue and I... Yeah, somebody wanted to cut your tongue out. Maybe for somebody, literally... Somebody may, may offer you a house. You may have been left a home. This came out before with the Ace of Cups with the grandmother and the grandfather and shit. You may get some kind of communication that somebody in the past left you a home as an investment with the Seven of Pentacles and you're struggling and you're not supposed to be struggling. Someone's not supposed to be in this fucking home for somebody here. It's supposed to be your ass sitting in that home all comfy and cozy and somebody got you damn near pitching tents and building forts. I tell you what though, I told my dude... I am a master alchemist. I could be in a jail cell and be a Martha Stewart all up in that piece, okay? I, I'm always the best person to live with. I make every place I live at, no matter what it's like, home, sacred, comfortable, cozy, master alchemy. These people know nothing about this. Um, but I'm thinking clear. Yes, you're not in that Eight of Swords energy. If you are, it's in reverse. We're thinking clearly. We know exactly what's happening. We know exactly what's going on around us. And we know exactly what we came here to do, too. When we keep our mouth shut, we get karma. And everybody that's watching my shit who knows that you're around somebody who's doing 41 all, doing some dirty shit, I don't care if you're involved or not. But if you're not involved and you know that there's people around you who are involved with shit, especially with kids and trafficking, your life is going to fall apart and you're going to go away, too, for being an accessory. Try it. And see, I've, everything I've said so far has happened. We're not going. No, 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 nowhere. Love you. Philly out.